This section is mobility, so it's going to be helping the spine ease it up. Uh, there is one core exercise in there, but technically it's mobility as well, so we're just going to keep it in. So we'll start lying down. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor, hip width apart. Shoulders relaxed. Palms facing upwards. On your next in-breath, engage your pelvic floor and push your TVA down. Let's just warm up slightly, just tilt your pelvis and flatten your back onto the floor and then tilt and arch. We're going into the shoulder bridge in a second, so tilt and flatten, tilt and arch. One more flatten, one more arch and come to neutral spine. Engage the core again if you've forgotten about it, pelvic floor, TVA, shoulders relaxed. Tilt the pelvis to flatten your back, squeeze your bottom and peel up into your shoulder bridge one vertebra at a time, making sure you're using your glutes. Check that your hips come on up and your rib cage doesn't flare out like that. You want to keep your rib cage down. Push your knees away from you and peel back down one vertebra at a time as if you're laying um, a string of pearls down onto a desk or a bicycle chain, links of a chain coming down. At the bottom, breathe in again, pelvic floor, TVA, squeeze your bottom, tilt your pelvis, flatten your back and peel up. Breathe in at the top, breathe out, peel back down, reaching the knees away from you. So your mind, your focus is on each individual vertebra, keep going, each individual vertebra working separately. Breathe in at the top, breathe out, peel back down. If you want a little bit more advanced, as you come up, bring your arms up and past your head. Breathe in at the top, breathe out. Either leave your hands there or bring your arms, synchronize it so that they hit the floor as soon as your bottom does. Engage core, tilt the pelvis, squeeze the bottom, peel up. Up to you whether you use your arms as well. Let's do two more. This time keep as you're coming up, keep your arms on the floor, don't take them past your head, and stay up in the shoulder bridge. I know I said there was only one core exercise, this is sort of like half a core, so it doesn't really count. So all I want you to do is just, um, I'm going to take you up the levels, just lift your right heel an inch off the floor, just the heel, and then lower. Left heel off the floor, and lower. What you're making sure, keep going, is that you're not tilting your hips at all. They stay totally pointing up towards the ceiling. If you want to go to the next level, lift your entire foot off the floor, then lower left foot off the floor, then lower. If you want the next stage, um, right leg up into tabletop, and then lower. Up to you which level you do. You don't have to go to the highest level. Left leg up to tabletop, and then lower. If you want the final stage, lift the right leg up straight to the ceiling. Lower it to the knee, and bring it back up again. And then lower, and lift. Lower, and lift one more, lower. And lift back down. Left leg up straight to the ceiling, lower, lift, lower, lift two more, one more, back down, peel your vertebra back down onto the floor. Hug your knees into your chest and just rock from side to side. In fact, take a full body stretch, reach the arms away from you, reach the legs away from you. We're going to do the roll up. Keep your core nice and strong, relax your legs, float your arms up to the ceiling. Actually before I say that, if you've got any lower back problems you probably don't want to do this one. So your chin comes up, you're curling up, scoop the tummy and roll all the way up. Breathe in at the top, breathe out, scoop and C-shape your spine, hollow your tummy and curling down slowly. Shoulders stay down, breathe in. Don't use your shoulders to come up. Scoop, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in at the bottom. 
Breathe out, curl up. Breathe in. If you need to cheat, there's a couple of cheats you can have. You can place your hands on your legs and help yourself come up. Keep going. You can bend your knees if you need to, but don't use your arms. You don't want to be pushing yourself up. You want to curl up. Let's do two more really slowly. So let's count to 10, my favorite. We're gonna go down for one, stop, two, stop, three, four, five, six, scoop that tummy, seven, eight, nine, breathe in, last time, 10, chin up, nine, shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep the C shape, two, and stretch forward, hold there, and we're going to come into the spine twist, so sitting up, cross-legged, whatever's comfortable, if cross-legged isn't comfortable, you can sit with your knees bent like this, but what you want is um, perfect posture with your spine. So, sitting up nice and tall, place your hands on your knees and just use your hands to straighten your spine. Push your shoulders down, check you're not sticking your head out like this. You want your chin slightly tucked in so your um, neck's in line with the rest of your spine. Push your tummy back, shoulders relax, that's it. Push your tummy back towards your um, spine and place your thumbs on your sternum. That's it. And place your middle fingers underneath your chin. Good, keep your tummy nice and strong. Now you're going to twist with your heart, not your shoulders, not your elbows, I want you to twist with your heart. So you're gonna twist and um, twist to the left as you breathe out. Grow tall here. Breathe out and twist back. Breathe in, engage your pelvic floor. Twist to the left, right, sorry. Breathe in and hold. Breathe out, twist back, relax your shoulders. Twist to the other side. Keep growing tall and keep twisting. Keep zipping up your pelvic floor. Knees and legs stay totally still. You're just wrapping your ribcage around your body. Keep your core strong. And just rotate as far as you feel you are comfortable. If you want to take it to the next level, you don't have to, you can open your arms out and twist, but don't move your head any more than you move your spine. Keep those arms up at shoulder height. If you are using your arms out straight, bring them back and twist, and this time as we go to the left, hold that rotation, take your back hand, your left hand, and place it behind you, and see if you can increase the rotation slightly, only if it's um, comfortable. Hold that increased rotation, and place your hand back underneath your chin, and then twist back to the center. Twist the other way, keep your knees and your um, legs still, place your right hand behind you, Increase the rotation if it's comfortable. Grow tall, lift the chest. Place the hand back and twist back. Just roll over, well done. And just hold there for a second. And we're gonna go into your final exercise, the spine stretch forward, one of my favorites. So legs out in a comfortable V position. If this isn't comfortable, bend your knees. You want a nice um, upright position. So you don't want to be like this, basically. So sit wherever you're going to get good posture. Place your hands inside your thighs and just use that to get perfect spine. Scoop your tummy back towards your spine, slide your shoulders down. If you can, flex your feet. Don't worry if you can't. Relax your arms. Now your mind, your focus is on your vertebra. One at a time again, like those pearls or bicycle chain. You're just going to drop your chin to your chest and roll through the vertebra coming forwards with your hands keep c-shaping your spine as much as possible your aim is to get 
to get your head onto the floor. It's only an aim. Scoop your tummy right back. Breathe in and hold. Breathe out, re-stack your spine from the bottom upwards. Lift and lengthen your vertebra. Shoulders down. Breathe in at the top. Breathe out, scoop and curl down. When you're ready to breathe in, that's your end point. And curl up as you breathe out again. Let's do a few more. You can reach your arms in front of you. Curling up. Now if you fancy it, see if you can go into an extension. So you go into your C shape first, then you bring your arms straight by your ears and lift up into your spine extension and hold there. Then you C shape back down again and curl up with your spine. Let's do two more with the extensions if you want to. Curling down or just do normal ones. Straighten the spine, uh, the arms, lift up, reach your chest forwards, curl down, curl up, last one. Curling down. Shoot forwards, hold here, tight core, curl your spine back down and curl up, well done.